Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is the Rusted Willow and today I am showing you the heat press from HTV Rot. This thing is so cute. I love it. So if you've been in the market and looking for a heat press and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, this one is perfect. It's right up your alley. And guys, it's prime week um, for the rest of the week. So they are having specials every day. Plus they are giving my viewers an extra 20% off on the purchase. And you can also get an extra 5% off on Amazon with the link I'm going to provide you in my description box. So I not only have a coupon code, but I also have a link for you. So that will be listed down below in my description box. Now, this thing is very, very easy to set up. You literally hit the temperature button and then the plus button to raise the temperature. You hit the little clock button and then the plus or minus button to raise or to increase or decrease the time. And then when you want to use the timer, you hit the R and it has a timer for you. And then it buzzes when your time is done. So super simple to use. And I, I love the color. I love the fancy little gold around the top. I think that's so cute. So you'll have to tell me what you think about it. But here I am. I'm just going to show you um, how I use this product. And I bought these towels from Ikea. And I am making some Christmas towels for my booth. So I thought I would try the sublimation. Now, I should have used the sublimation HTV that they sent to me because evidently these towels are 100% cotton or something. I don't know, but it did not take the sublimation like it should have. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is if it says to apply heavy pressure, it also shows you how much pressure you're applying. So I didn't realize that it did that until I started pressing down on it. Now, don't ruin your machine like I just did. I got it all dirty. I did not put a Teflon mat in between my sublimation paper and my heat press. So make sure you get a Teflon mat. I ran out of... I ran out of... Um, parchment paper. So I was using freezer paper and freezer paper actually has a coating on it and that will stick to your material and it will also stick to the bottom of your heat press. So don't use freezer material either. So I'm just going to tell you I was having a bad crafting day <laughs> and nothing was going right. And so I was struggling here. I'm just going to be real with you guys. Sometimes the struggle bus picks you up and just will not let you off. Okay. So I was definitely struggling here. Um, and I'll point out to you the issues that I had. And so if I make the mistakes, you won't make them. All right. So I also have some sublimation spray that I could have used, but I didn't use that either. You might hear my dogs in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I laid the second one back down and I tried to line it up and now there's a shadow. So I was just seeing if I could get it just a little bit better on these towels. So the Ikea towels did not work very well. Um, but that's okay. They can be gifts for friends and family. They don't care. They like, they like the things I make anyway. That's why they're friends and family. <laughs> All right. So I am going to do another towel and this one, I go ahead and press it just like I did the other two. And I'm just going to do it the same way. I cut out so I did a few things new. I cut out this design um, from my Cricut. I did a print and cut, which I've never done before. So that was new for me. Um, pretty simple. However, my Sawgrass printer not only 
has a new format um, or new drivers, new programming. Anyway, so I had issues with my printer. Um, I had to uninstall it, reinstall it, download the new programming, and then I could actually get it to work. So anyway, I did this print and cut on the Cricut and it did fine, but now I'm having to hand place all of these little items here on this design. And I thought that the first design wasn't coming off on the towel because I don't know, the paper had set out too long or whatever, but I know that this particular paper that I'm using holds a lot of ink and um, it goes through material really easily. And so I, I wasn't sure why the design wasn't coming off. Now, when you're doing sublimation, don't rub back and forth. You literally just press it down. It's just a straight press. That's it. Um, I shouldn't have been rubbing it back and forth, but that didn't matter. That didn't cause any issues because um, I taped the design in place. Now the C came up, the, the Clark is supposed to look glittery and it didn't look glittery on this towel. So what I should have done is used the sublimation HTV under the design to make sure that it was a vibrant design, just like it will be on the next project that I do. So, and I have never used the sublimation HTV before. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I only thought that there was a spray if you're going to do anything other than uh, cotton, or I'm sorry, polyester, because if you do cotton, that's when the sublimation doesn't want to look right. So um, now we're going to do this sublimation for dark fabrics. I've never done this before. I didn't even know this stuff existed, so I'm very excited about it because I had so many designs I wanted to do, but I like to wear dark colors like red and army green and black, you know. So I'm very excited about this. Now, like I said, this is my very first time. I'd never done it before. What you have to do is make the design, import it, into your Cricut design and or Cricut program or whatever cutting machine program you have and then you make an offset of the design. Now I did 0 0.05 and I probably should have made it a little bigger so I'm just trying to get it centered here. Now I just bought this brand new t-shirt spacing plastic thing there and then I left it in place and melted the dang thing. That's what happened to my last one. I melted it. Now why they make them plastic and not silicone I have no idea. But anyway so somebody please design me one that is silicone so I will quit melting them. And yes it stuck to the shirt. So see what I mean about being on the struggle bus? I'm telling you what just seriously. So you want to mirror your designs just like you normally would if you were sublimating or making a, an iron on. And then you try to line it up as best you can. And then I taped it down in place. Now the sublimation HTV, I just did for 20 seconds. And then I hot peeled it. It said hot peel, cool peel. I think it said cool peel, but I hot peeled it. It peeled off just fine. And then um, it said to apply heavy pressure. Now look at this color on this blue shirt. Amazing. You can even see the checker in the checker design in the hat. So my sister and my brother-in-law, they love National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So this will be gifts to them. And just so you know, when you do the HTV sublimation, 
and you do the offset, there is going to be a little bit of white around the design. And I think it's fine. I mean, look how vibrant that is. I am so excited about the possibilities of what I can make on darker fabrics now. And I must have been living under a rock because I had no idea that this stuff even existed. So I do want to thank HTV Romp for sending me the heat press and the sublimation HTV. I absolutely love it. It works fantastic. Amazing. It was easy to weed, easy to work with. I had no issues whatsoever. This is what the heat press looks like. It is 10 by 10. And don't forget that I will be having the or I will have the coupon code and the link to this product and a, the sublimation product down in my description box for you if you're interested. And guys, if you've been looking into one of these and you know the price of the other brand, this is so much more affordable. You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. And now's the time to pick it up during prime days. So um, I believe the coupon ends on Friday. I will be posting another video on Friday and um, hopefully I get some more cool designs. So we'll see. It depends on how much time I have. <laughs> anyway, okay. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my channel and watching my videos. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. And I hope you go on to Prime or Amazon and check out all the Prime deals. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week. Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel or hit that like button, please do so. I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, you have a fabulous rest of your week. Bye.